Welcome to A Minute or Two with the Word. I'm your host, Torah teacher Ariel, where every few days we take a look at a relevant passage of Scripture together as Jews and Gentiles in Messiah. Exodus 12, 49 in Hebrew reads, Torah achat yie le'ezrach v'le'gir hagar v'tochem. One law shall be to him that is homeborn and unto the stranger that sojourneth among you. That's rendered from the KJV. This verse where the first time in the Torah that the specific phrase one law is mentioned simply jumps off the page at me for a number of reasons. Here's why. The Hebrew for homeborn in this verse is ezrach, and the Hebrew word for stranger in this verse is ger. In their most normative, authoritative, and essentially universally accepted translations, these two terms refer to natural Israelites, sons of Jacob, and foreigners from the surrounding nations who decided to take up residency in Israel, attach themselves to Israel's people, and thus by association to Israel's God. In today's parlance, the Ezrach basically represents the Jews and the Ger represents the Gentiles. The verse does not say that the Ger converts to become an Ezrach, but the verse does say that the stranger commits himself to the very same law that governs natives sons of Jacob. I've got a confession to make. I am a one law proponent. Well, that's probably not a secret to most of you who already know me, right? Practically speaking, one Torah or one law theology believes that Hashem historically gave one covenant document to follow as a way of life for anyone wishing to identify as covenant Israel. Instead of purporting that the New Testament is for Gentile Christians and that the Torah was or is for Jews only, one law commits both Jews and Gentiles in Messiah Yeshua as children of faithful Abraham to follow after the Torah of Moshe while retaining our distinctive ethnicities as Jews and Gentiles together in the body of Messiah. Replacement theology has its roots in mistaken notion that since the coming of Jesus, the church has replaced Israel as the chosen covenant people of God, the Jews are out, and the Christian church is in. It sounds pretty cut and dry. However, this is error. The Bible teaches no such thing. In closing, we One Law proponents advocate that Gentile Christians actually get grafted into and become fellow heirs with the remnant of faithful Israel, called the One New Man by Paul in Ephesians. This is the church. This is the mystery of the gospel hidden down through the ages. In point of fact, when it comes to Israel's inheritance from Hashem, we Christians are partakers, not overtakers.